Today I'm going to be doing a lot to prepare for this upcoming deer season, including hanging trail cameras, maybe checking a couple of trail cameras, and possibly extending our food plot and making it a little bit bigger. So right now it's 11 o'clock on a Saturday. I did a bunch of jobs and stuff this morning. I went to town and got almost $50 worth of batteries for trail cameras. So my main mission for today is to put out a bunch of trail cameras. So I'm going to have to get them all organized, make sure they all work, and then clean off a bunch of SD cards to put in the trail cameras. So that's what I'm going to do now. These are all dead batteries from um, last year. All right, they might not be all dead. They're definitely at least partially used. So being said, I'm putting out a bunch of trail cameras this year. I'm just gonna have all new batteries in all of them. These are all the trail cameras that I have here at the house right now. I have two cameras set out that I put out a couple weeks ago on one of our farms. But today I'm gonna be hanging a lot of these cameras on a completely different farm. So the next step is to put batteries in all these trail cameras and format SD cards to fit each one of these trail cameras. I found out if you don't format your SD cards before you put them in the trail cameras, you're setting yourself up, you're setting yourself up for a big disappointment because I've had cameras out for months, go and check them, and they don't take any pictures because I didn't format the cards. It's always worth taking that extra step and formatting your card completely before you put them in your trail cameras. So I just got done formatting all of these cards. I think I have seven or eight here. I don't have enough to swap them out every time I go in. So I'm gonna have to um, take a computer or something in so that I can check them, copy them off, and then format them. But now that I got all the SD cards, I'm gonna be putting them inside of the trail cameras and loading the trail cameras up with batteries and then we should be ready to go. So I got all those trail cameras organized and SD cards put in them, batteries put in them. They're all ready to go, all six of them. So now I got Cody with me and we're going over to the farm to put these things out. It rained for about two hours. It was not supposed to rain at all till this evening. Um, Apple weather is not very accurate anymore. So yeah, we're gonna go over here to the farm, put these things out and I'll show you kind of our strategy why we're putting our cameras out on each of these locations. I scouted almost all these locations out from home and I'm planning to put my trail camera there based off of what I learned at home. So that'll be interesting to go out and explore the farm a little bit more. So we just got here to the farm and as always, we got the really sizzling loud electric lines. These beans are actually coming up really nice. Last evening we were driving around looking for deer. There was some deer, there was two does down here in the dip in the wheat field. So, I mean, we know there's plenty of deer around. I'm just double checking real quick on where we're gonna set up our cameras. That way I can find a good route to go. Here we go. It's on the other side of that woods is where we want to set up one of the cameras. I'll bet you they're bedding right in there. There's a trail that goes right out here into the beans. They probably go right back in there. There's fresh tracks right here. So we're back here along this field edge now and uh, we started up there by the house. We're back here by this field edge and I think I'm gonna set up a trail camera on this tree right back in here. Um, I think it should be good. There won't be a lot of deer in here and this will probably be one that we won't check much, but at least we have it here to see if there's deer cruising through here. Um, and I had figured in for one of my cameras to be in here. So I'm gonna set one up on this thing here. I don't really love it, but I feel like maybe later on if there's any bucks in this area they'll probably be on this bean on these beans on these bean edges at least at some point so we'll see I almost forget how buggy it is out here setup number one is going to be a stealth camera on the edge of this field on the beans there's not a lot of tracks here there's not a lot of sign of deer eating it but I'm just going to set it up here because i feel like they'll be here at some point I also didn't bring machetes or anything with, which is a big mistake. I should be good to go. I have all these cameras already pre-set up, so this should be good to go. This, I'm glad I have this one set up here because this is the most finicky one. It's an older trail camera. Now I'm gonna mark this on the maps and then we'll keep going. Let's go to this one next, it's down here. Turkey. Yep, literally a turkey. It's literally a long beard. That's crazy. You probably can't see that because of the lens that we have on, but it's literally a turkey out there, a couple hundred yards away from where we're at right now, but 80, 100 yards from where we had our blind set up earlier on in the year to hunt this spring, so. After the rain this morning, um, they're just out here feeding in the field, pecking around, looking for bugs and stuff. So he's out there a couple hundred yards away. There's a deer right out there at the, right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. 
but there's actually there's actually a bunch of deer and turkeys and stuff that go right through that opening right to that tall grass that's where i saw that long beard come out in the spring and then we'll also probably set up a stand or at least have a hang and hunt option on the other side of that field um, I feel like that'd be good during the rut because there's a big woods on the other side and a big woods over here So they're probably using that to connect the run underneath the bridge to get to the other woods and That's probably what that deer is doing right now or else it's bedding in there. That's encouraging. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon And there's a deer right there. So I'm gonna keep on going and find more place to hang up the trail cameras. Oh, there's the turkey right there you See it See, this is what I was thinking right at this fence post, shooting it out. There was a bunch of tracks that came right through here. And then when we were turkey hunting, we saw a deer that walked real close by here too. So we got a fence post and everything ready to go. What is it? Oh yeah, up on top of the ridge. That's a doe. This place is loaded with, that's a doe. She probably, heard us walk by and heard us talking and then came by a couple minutes later because we were up there five, 10 minutes ago. Now there's a doe up there. We just saw another doe over here. So there's deer on this farm. So far, I haven't seen any bucks here, but there's does. Take a quick water break. So far we walked down the edge of the beans on that side, well, set up a trail camera, walked down here to this end, saw a deer over here, turkey over here, another deer back here. This place has got animals, so let's keep on going. We got, uh, it was, oh there's kids, there's a, what do you see, he's coming back here, I don't know, let's go. So we got the neighbors yelling at us, we gotta go talk to them now. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Where'd they go? Thought they wanted to talk to us. Apparently they didn't want to talk. Okay. I'll get out of a confrontation any day I can. I worked out nice, they just yelled at us, said a couple things and then went on up the hill. I actually talked to the guy that lives at that house earlier when I was turkey hunting. So I talked to that guy. I don't know if he knew that it was us. Those were just kids that they weren't much older than us. So I don't know what they wanted, but I don't know if they knew that we were hunting or if he hadn't told them about us. So we'll see what happens. That's deep. I came up here to this point when I was turkey hunting, but have not been over here to this section yet. So this will be my first time beyond the creek. We made it to the other side. And this is looking good. This is looking good. Oh, this is looking good. This is a pretty wild picture. It's almost bigger than I thought. And so there's like a house and a dryer or something. That thing's literally on all the time. It sounds like a generator. This year when I was here during turkey season and everything. But there's plenty of good spots all the way on this edge. Like the whole way around to set up a stand like right here. In that tree, you could easily, you could easily set up a stand right there in that tree. This access is definitely gonna be a little bit tough. It's gonna be kind of loud if we walk along this edge, but there's a bunch of good trees right in here that we could hang in. We'll get a lot of brush in here, I'll tell you that much. So this one here, I'm setting up right on the edge of this field. I feel like this should be a pretty good spot. There's like a little bit of an opening and then a field on the other side. Um, and deer are funneling in there and I think they're coming out here to this field in the evening is at least what I'm guessing. Let's get up to the top of the hill and walk to see what it looks like. So Cody and I went out two, two nights ago and got permission to access from the other side and that's over there we're on the complete opposite end of the farm so we can access from up there walk across the f walk across the field down here and we got um, this field and then that little field down there that we were just at and then over across that is where all those other fields were so now yeah, we're now officially on the other side of the property and haven't really walked through any woods yet but 
we're gonna look for spots along here to set up tree stands and trail cameras. I think we got two or three trail cameras left to set up, so. This looks like a good spot right here. This little bend up here. I really like those trees because we could set up have a person on each tree, you have to cut out a couple lanes that we could be looking down there. Got this trail back here. I feel like that's the type of stand right there where you would be watching does out in the far side of the field and that buck would be right here behind me, behind you right there. So that could definitely be an option, especially for a hanging hunt actually. Now that I think about it, that would actually be a really, really good hanging hunt spot if we want to definitely think, think about that. That's a hen. I think what I saw earlier was a gobbler. See it? There he goes. What's that? that was a hen. She was now on this end of the field. I just crossed the creek back here behind me and uh, came up here. There's a hen right there. There's definitely turkeys on this farm. All right, so this is the last setup of the day. Um, we're going with the stealth cam, one of the cheap ones again. Setting it up here right along the edge of this trail. Actually, the turkey that we just saw was right out over here. So we have trail cameras back behind me, two behind me and two over on this side. So I feel pretty good about how we have these trail cameras spread out. After I put this one up, we'll still have one trail camera left in the bag. So that means that we'll have three total to put out somewhere else. I know there's deer here because I've, I've seen deer when I was turkey hunting and there's also turkeys in this area too. So should be getting plenty of deer and turkeys right here. Set it up right here. So Elmer and Cody and I came out here tonight and we're driving around looking for places to hunt. We went a different direction than what we normally do. We knocked on probably 10 doors, something like that. Yep. And there was what, probably four, three, four people that didn't come to the door. A bunch of people that said they either have people hunting or are at least out or something. And then there's a couple people that just said no. So uh, we'll be back, we'll try it again, but we saw lots of or number of deer there was one set of bachelor bucks that looked really good but yeah i guess that's um going to be the end of this video for now in the next couple of weeks i'm going to still try to go out and spray the food plot and um do some more of that stuff so maybe i'll do a second vlog on that then later but i got the uh film the hunt editing course coming up this weekend so i'll be going to that I'm not sure if this will be posted before then or not but yeah lots of exciting stuff coming and uh yeah, thanks for watching.